guests come here to place their fears and their pet hates into the Room 101 vault in the hope that they will be locked away there forever. But they have to convince me first. Joining me tonight is an actor's actor. He's vibrant, sexy, menacing and mesmerising. He's been Gino and Vinny, Nick Daniels, Neville Bartos and Alphonse Gangitano. Tonight, he's here as himself, the Italian Stallion. Please welcome the AFI Award winning Vince Colosimo. <laughs> Oh, oh, very well, thank you. You smell good. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Want to take a seat? Yeah. Oh. Thank you for that. Oh. Hope you're doing it at the end. <laughs> they love you. Ray Martin got nothing. <laughs> so, are you feeling comfortable? I've been looking forward to this. Okay. Invent some stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I'm going to hang it on a few people. You ready to begin our journey? I am. Okay. I am. What about this one? What does this mean? What does it represent for you? Oh. Let's see, um... You know, the BYO everything. You're invited to a party. Now, that means let's have some fun, yeah? Go out, get dressed, have some fun. But then the bottom says BYO drinks, BYO your food, BYO your fucking music. <laughs> Come on, man. Is that like, is that going out there fun? Seriously. Well, well, they've got the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, the barbecue will be on. <laughs> but you put your meat in that corner, <laughs> the best snags over there. Come on, man. No, it's an Australian I hate it. tradition. Hate it. Hate it. It's an Australian. Be what is? It's Aussie Asbro. No, Aussie's Aussie, Aussie tradition Asbro. is share. Let's all share. Let's have everything that's here. You know. I mean, you're not... talking about like an extreme bring a plate. Is that what it's? <laughs> you got to bring everything. Yeah, and if you don't bring a plate, it's like, you know, and people are getting rid of the stuff that they don't want. You know, <laughs> to party. I had a like, I had a friend that well, a friend. Well, he was a mate, <laughs> but he's um. <laughs> He'd bring a bottle that was started, like a bottle of wine that was already started. <laughs> Are you believe it? What's that? And he's like, but I don't care. I'd rather you bring nothing. Don't bring anything. But don't bring a bottle that started. No. Take it home. Do you think it's a cultural thing? Do you think there's a, a cultural divide at the moment? Well, I don't know. There's an understanding, I suppose. And it's what you're what you brought up with and how, you, how you're brought up. I'm not saying that that is totally wrong. I don't like it, that's all. Okay. It's a pet hate of mine. And I'm not saying that, you know, you should be fined if you do it. And it's just like, <laughs> I'd like to host and, you know, I want you to, you know, come to my party and, and leave happy and uh, not to have had to go to too much trouble. Yeah, yeah. Just turn up and have a good time. I think that's very generous of you. I, I, a little bit. Well, I mean, well, if you want to bring a drink, that's fine, or a gift or something, that's but fine But not too, a half-drunk drink. But not a half-drunk drink. <laughs> and not the, not the cheapest, you know, um, um, beer or um, uh, Coles brand snacks, you know. Oh, there's, there's, <laughs> there's limits and levels. <laughs> no, there's no limits and levels. There's limits and levels. Don't bring anything. Wait a second. I'd rather you bring no, nothing. Wait a second. No, 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 no,
I, I believe it's the, um, I told you so. I can't stand it. Told you. Okay. I told you so. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? <laughs> I can tell you. Such I told you told so. Told you, mate. Here yeah. we go. Oh, this is you. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It just didn't feel right. It's, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh. oh Vince. Okay, you grab go that side. I'll grab that side. Let's go. go. Oh. oh, pull it out. I told you so. I told you so. So you get riled up by people saying, I told you so. Yeah, it pisses me off. Um, it's, uh, it's when, you know, I suppose it's the circumstances they say it and when they say it. But, you know, it could be kind of, you know, you're watching two teams play. I mean, two teams. And one team wins, they go, I told ya! <laughs> we had a fucking 50% 50, 50 chance of getting it. <laughs> and a big deal. I must, I must admit that I find it one of the, one of the great joys of life. <laughs> <laughs> and I, being I the tend one to say that it. says it. Or being, being, no, I'm talking about being told. I'm not talking about saying it. They're two different things. <laughs> they seem to I didn't me... say I didn't like doing it. <laughs> They seem to me oh, to be... I'm on the blower as fast as you can even find. Oh, I told ya! I told ya! They, they do told. seem to be slightly connected by a... <laughs> they are, but they're not. A thread of words there. Because there's always someone who's triumphant and having the best oh, time going, okay, well, I told you so. Yeah, you get, so so you get, you get, you get pleasure out of being told it? What are we talking about now? I told you so. <laughs> when someone says, comes up to you and says, I told you, Paul, told you, mate. It doesn't, so it doesn't happen to me. It doesn't, pleasure? doesn't happen to me as much no, as it, it seems to happen to you. <laughs> it can happen to me once a month and it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Could this, would this be better for you? Would you prefer this? Na, 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 I was right and you were wrong. Na, 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 I was right and you were wrong. Is that better? <laughs> better or worse in your... Estimation, don't fucking hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're the same thing, really. You know it comes from the Bible? I told you so. Does it really? Yeah. Well, tell us what, what the word section of God. and about Matthew what? Matthew 19, 24, again I tell you. It's in the New Testament. That's a New Testament, oh, again, I told you I so. tell you. Again yeah. I tell you. Again, I told Is you again. I told you so? Yeah, I've already told you before. <laughs> I'm going to tell you again. I'll tell you again. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you again. <laughs> oh, that, that's even worse, isn't it? You know, like, they're too worse for that. Forgot that they told you so. They tell you again the next day. I told you. <laughs> you told me yesterday, suck. <laughs> <laughs> you know the real shame about that is the Pope's never going to be standing in the, in the steps of the Vatican, going, "There he is. He came back. I told you so." <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't. How do you know that? Well, I don't. There you go. But I will tell you so when it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you seem to be saying to me, tell me if I get this right, you're saying, I hate it when other people are right and I'm shown to be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you hear it most? In family situations, at work, among your friends, or from the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, that one really sucks. Um, <laughs> no, nah, probably family. And have you ever said it? You enjoy saying it? Shit, yeah. Yeah. You say it to the kids? Who doesn't? Yeah, get it right. Yeah, I told you. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> It's great when you, when you mentally defeat a five-year-old, isn't it? <laughs> I dislike people that point the finger and say, I told you so. I dislike it. I'm not a fan of it. Sucks. I don't like the we look. We both like doing it. Oh, I love oh, doing no, it. I didn't say anything about that. Didn't if mention we can that. Get the, if we can get the patronising oh. people oh. that say it, that do the finger waving and pull the face yeah. going into the room, we can yeah. save it for ourselves. Does we it? can use it liberally in situations when we can say to people, I told you so. Yeah. I'm quite happy to see it go into room 101. Are you yeah. happy with that compromise? Very much. Are you happy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey. Back soon. OK. It begins with this, Vince. Show me, show me. Uh. <laughs> what does that represent for you? Well, um, for me, I'd say, because it's obviously chosen, it, um, it's a sweaty T-shirt, uh, dirty T-shirt, 
So we're without a head, um, but that doesn't mean anything. It's just, um, I suppose, it represents unhygienic. Unhygienic? You know? Yeah, well, people that do, you So know. you don't like people with, with B.O.? No, I don't dislike people with B.O. because everyone has B.O. You know? It's the way they cover it, yeah? You know, bad hygiene shits me, right? <laughs> you know, some people just smell. I suppose they should use more deodorant than others. And, you know, the, the, and there was a guy that came to work and he came barefoot to work. And uh, <laughs> it wasn't like we were working by the beach or anything like that. We were in the middle of the city. And, um, and he just didn't bother putting shoes on. And his feet just weren't, like, walking to work feet. Like, he just walked out of his car and onto the set. It's... They were grubby, they were dirty, mm. and, uh, and, and, and they smelled. <laughs> That's a bit disrespectful, and I thought that was um, not really thinking about your fellow people on a set and all the work people So this is, a, this is an actor, another actor on set with another actor <laughs> who's come along... <laughs> it is, yes, it is. ..with very, <laughs> with very smelly feet. Yeah, it could be so an like actor, it could be an churning... actor, it could be a director. Oh, a director. It was could a director? be a director. Oh, could be. It could be. Could you be. don't want to focus no, in a little bit for us and just tell us... No, I'm not going to tell you who it that wasn't the deal. <laughs> and so um, there was a time that I was, um, I was in Europe and I was on a train and I thought I'd bought a first class ticket in the carriage and I had to be on this train for like 10 hours. And, uh, and I got into this carriage, there's three blokes and there's five women. And uh, one of those was big and he was sweating. It was quite warm. He was sweating and he's like, he stunk. He took over, the, the carriage just stunk. <laughs> and there was nowhere else you could go. And that was a train in Italy? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been on a train in India? No, I haven't. If you really want to sample the wonders of the human bouquet, <laughs> jump on an Indian train, spring the extra 10 cents, go have first been, class. Have you, have you done that? Oh, yeah. And what was your experience? My experience was really bad. I had... Uh... <laughs> what was it? Tell us about it. Oh, no, I t this isn't about me. <laughs> this is a much longer story. Let We're me suffice comparing. to say that it ended with me at uh, Agra Station shitting behind a small brick wall. Oh, <laughs> Like a cappuccino machine. <laughs> like a... <laughs> just steam coming out of my body that wandered away from me like a small river that I then watched chickens and goats feast upon. <laughs> oh, oh. Give me a ticket! <laughs> Same chickens and goats that I would probably be eating <laughs> oh, later that up. night. <laughs> and thus the marvellous circle of life goes round and round. Okay. So, guys, to show that, uh, you know, hygiene's very important, isn't it? It's, it's important. Absolutely important. It's important. I mean, it's, uh, You're a clean person, though, aren't you? Well, I, I, I Physically? consider myself. Physically yeah, yeah. Your mind's probably a cesspool, but you're, you're quite clean. <laughs> I think there's anything wrong with being a little bit clean, yeah. Yeah, yeah OK. Wash my hands a lot. You obsessive? Yeah. No, no, I don't think I'm obsessive. Around the home? No, I, 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 I like to, you know, I don't like, like, you know, your dishes left at night and you don't do them till the morning. It has to be done. It has to be put away, washed, otherwise... You've got to do them. Smell. Yeah, you've got to do them. You've got to get, get rid of them, otherwise um, they smell. And you don't need that. I was a bit worried about this one. I thought, oh, jeez, why don't I choose this one? Because it makes you, you know, you're a little bit of a... A little bit of a what? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think you do know. No, I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, this gone to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> what about this, this, this fellow, Amu, he, uh, he survives on a diet of rotten porcupine meat and smokes cigarettes made out of animal faeces. <laughs> yeah, so Winnie Blues are coming back. <laughs> would, you stand, would you stand downwind of Amu? No, you wouldn't, I suppose. No? He draws the line... And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of room there to move, though. I mean, you don't have to stand downwind of him yeah. either, you know? Well, he, he used to have a house but it fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> it disintegrated. Yes. So what do we think? B.O. Bad hygiene. Should it go into room 101? I think it should. I mean, what, what you don't agree? Do we agree? Do, do we agree? Come on. Please, help me out here. I needed this one. People should clean Throw themselves. Throw it in 101, People come on. should wash themselves. Well, should you pay, take a that. bit of pride. Yeah, a little a bit, bit of pride, pride you, know, you know. I'm not saying be totally anal and, you know, pristine every single day, but, you know, bare feet, you know, and... Dirty feet, Take a bit and, you of pride. know, odour and dirty nails. Oh, come on. Not Goodbye, long. then. See you later. Goodbye, bad yeah. hygiene. Yeah. Bang, gone. So long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does that feel good? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. OK, here we go. Here's your next one. You ready? Bang. What does it mean? What does it represent for you? Text messaging, uh, when you do the, um, the group text messaging. Uh, yeah, that really pisses me off. It's that, um, <laughs> which is why we're here. We're talking about things that piss us off. Or well, elaborate. Yeah, elaborate tell me, tell me, because oh, I, I, I haven't I received just, really a group. Text. I um, again, then it's just sort of 
in the last couple of years where, <laughs> you know, Christmas comes along or, you know, Eve or whatever, and, and you get this message saying, oh, you know, Happy New Year, all the very best. Hope you and your family are healthy, love the, you know, McDermott family, whatever, right? Or the Glossman family. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, you know? And you find, you, you, you realise actually the last time they sent you a, a, a text was the year before. <laughs> Because you've only got, oh, that was last year, you know. I was probably sending it to everybody, right. you know, on their list. And I just find that a bit... <sighs> yeah, I don't like it. So it's not personalised at all? It's just no, that's, it's how, you, that's it's, how you know? it's everyone, yeah. No, no, yeah. It pees me off. Or just... I'm a twin, though. I am a twin, so we and my brother get the same text messages from the same person. You know, like, we'll send it to Vince Antoni, you know. <laughs> I've got a twin sister. Have you? Oh, yeah. We should get together sometime. We should, all of us. <laughs> I said, did I tell you it was a twin brother? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll get together. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Sure. Who cares? But you, you write your own Christmas cards? Do you well, do that? Well, I'll write a card to... If I'm giving someone a, a gift, yeah, for Christmas, like, if I give my um, parents or my nieces, nephews uh, or partner or whatever a gift, I'll, I'll write them a card, yeah. Not a, not a gift and then, you know, check your email, mate. I'll forget something on the email. <laughs> how, would you respond, how would you respond to this? Hey, gorgeous, what's up? Not much but I can't speak for the other 31 girls <laughs> attached in this group message. Unbelievable. If you go out and you, say that, you, know, you go to a bar and you ask 10 women, apparently, if you ask 10 women to come home and sleep with you, you know, one might just go, yeah, all right. You know. Nine. Nine for me. Nine? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Works differently for all fellas. Well, so but you, you only know, have to ask two. Higher rate of attrition there. <laughs> Is it acceptable to divorce via text message? <laughs> If that's the way it begun, yeah. OK. <laughs> yeah. What would you prefer to receive instead of a group text message? A letter. A letter? Maybe. Um, yeah, hand, something handwritten, maybe. OK. How, how is writing Happy Christmas on a piece of cheap cardboard more meaningful than writing Happy Christmas on an expensive gone, piece of technology? Because someone's gone to, a, you know, extra effort, I think. You know, go on and check that. Well, look, at a, look at the cards and sort of see something that might, might be familiar to them or you and, you know, put it all together. Got a pen out, written it, put it in a card, put your address on That's why. I think it's much, much more acceptable and it's a lot more, um, you know... Nicer. Okay, just to make Vince happy, it's no, going. No, right? don't do it to make me happy. No, 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 no don't no. do it to make me happy. Do Go it, on. Do it because it's right. Oh, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> don't make any shit. We're conflicted. Do it because it's right. Don't, don't, don't even look. Don't give me my buddy. Now, why don't you do it yourself? No, I will Go do it on. myself. See you later. Oh, you bugger! <laughs> I believe that. I dare you! I you don't, don't touch me, bloody! Never mind, don't don't touch me, sweet! That's the first time! Oh, you shocking human being! <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a chat about uh, etiquette, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's have a look. You ready for it? Do you understand what it is? <clears throat> what it well, represents? Well, yeah. Um, with some, um, you know, furniture. Furniture covered in plastic. <laughs> They've taken a bit of artistic licence because... Just normally, a little bit. Normally it's the like... furniture's a bit bigger, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and normally, normally it's better covered. Yeah, yeah. And you probably you know. wouldn't cover a chest of drawers, for God's sake. I didn't ever really understand it. Well, as I get older, I understand a little bit more. I don't agree with it, but I, I, I find it... Um, you know, sort of peculiar but funny. So, for the um, youth who may not understand it, this seemed to be quite uh, a thing back in the 70s. Does it still exist? You know, so I don't know, it seemed to be like a, um, a sign of the su success or the, you know, how well you've done or, or, you know, this is the really good room. You walk into the house and you can have a look from the doorway, but um, <laughs> I can, don't go in there. No, 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 you, no, you, no. You, can, you go straight <laughs> to the kitchen. You go straight to the kitchen, mate. You can have a look, but don't go in there. And then you know, everything's covered in, uh, in plastic. Some of it's see-through, so you can actually see the furniture. <laughs> you, can, you, sit on the, you sit on the couch and it's that awful plastic, you know, feeling, and you know that it's really beautiful fabric underneath that, but you not let it sit on it, you might dirty it, you know? <laughs> you know, a lot of the people I'm talking about, suppose, um, you know, had nothing when they came to this country, yeah. they had nothing, and they don't know how to use that stuff that's really good, and um, don't think that they are worthy of it. But they'll keep it there. We can have it. I remember from the 70s going round to, you know, friends at schools, their, their place and stuff, and they would have a runner 
a plastic runner going from the front door to the lounge where everything was covered in plastic and then the runner would go all the way to the back door. You'd go from front door to the back door, into the house, out of the house, never touch anything natural. That's right. <laughs> and all you had to clean was the plastic runner, you know? Yeah. Mop that, clean that up. You know? But that was functional. I mean, and, and from my memory, there used to be plastic-covered furniture that you would, you would actually sit on. It was just to protect the furniture underneath. Yeah. But they didn't have a spare room. But what's the point of that? Well, that's what I'm asking clean, you. Yeah, well, I don't get it. Like I said, it's, I did, and it's, so it pisses me off. It's a pet hate of mine. I don't like it. Do you love I it in summer? I like it. I hate it in summer. Got to love it in summer. It worse it comes into its own in it's summer. So Isn't that great? Sweaty. Just Ugh. get all that, the rivulets of sweat running Ugh. down your thighs. <laughs> It's like wearing a vinyl bloody suit. Yeah. It's like you're in a rotisserie at Franco Cozzo's, isn't it? <laughs> Turn you. Franco Cozzo, yeah. Yeah, Franco Cozzo. Hey, did you ever go nude on the plastic furniture of someone else's house? <laughs> I used to... Semi, 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 semi. Oh, that's a bit, semi. That's a bit frank. Semi. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to go that far, but thank well, you. Well, you know, semi. Thank you for sharing. No, I just... I, I, I never got it and I... And uh, you just want to tell people, take it off so we can actually touch the wood, you know, feel the fabric. <laughs> Christ <laughs> almighty, touch the wood. <laughs> oh, that mind. Oh, it is SPS. Oh, it is SPS, you know. Oh, you know what I love? I love it when I don't have to go there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all the best things come wrapped in plastic these days. Water comes wrapped in plastic. Drinks come wrapped in plastic. Our food comes wrapped in but plastic. But you unwrap that stuff, Laura don't you? Palmer came wrapped in plastic. <laughs> I occasionally come wrapped in plastic. Do you think... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I when do you come... Do hang you... on a second. When do you come wrapped in plastic? Do you oh, think... I've got to know this. Do you think... When do you come do wrapped you in plastic? Do you think... No, when do you come wrapped in plastic? I don't think it's about me at this you point, Vince. You said you did. I don't... I don't think it's about me. Oh, we got a minute, haven't we? I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm just wondering. That's all it takes most of the time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think... Do you think migrant families were ahead of the curve with the plastic? No, I don't. OK. No, I don't. Let's go, let's go in another direction now. Now, I've got to ask you this. Final question. Can you ever really, truly save something or protect something by just sealing it in plastic? Not really. What about the boy in the bubble? <laughs> Well, he didn't last that long, really, he did he? Didn't last that long. Okay. How long can you stay in a bubble for, really? Well, sometimes. Well, you just go, just kill life, me! You know. Well, that's, if he's watching now, that's going to be a negative message you're sending out. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to find it quite exotic when we went round to someone's place and it was, you know, all the furniture was covered in plastic. We thought it was crazy, but exotic. <laughs> so what I'm was quite... exotic about it? I mean, you didn't get the. It was different. You know, anything when you're seven. The, you know, yeah, I suppose. So. Does plastic furniture go into room 101? Oh, it's got to go. I think it's going to go. Yeah. It's got to go. It's got to go. See you later. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Vince Colossimo, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen! That was great, Vince. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. See you later. No plastic! <laughs> I wish you... Yeah. Was it, sorry? Bloody carburetor, my car, my car. What's your car? Like yeah, car, yeah, bloody carburetor. Carburetor. That'd be your carburetor, mate. Your insulator, your bloody chimney, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> How old is your car to have a chimney? <laughs>